Well, hello and welcome to the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2023 here at Birmingham in the NEC. Super exciting. Someone is very, very so excited. Last year we came, we were newbies, we just sort of bimbled around the show, we didn't really know much about anything. Um, this year we're hoping to be a little bit more focused. Martin Spencer on Twitter has just mentioned lightweight as a sort of focus for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lightweight um, and the cheaper end, obviously, is kind of where yeah, we are. Yeah, and awnings, because uh, when you look on the folding camper groups and whatnot, people lose the awnings or there is no awning when they purchase yeah, yeah, yeah. it. So if there's an alternative to trying to find a historic Conway or Pennine um, yeah, yeah, yeah. cap, the awning, then great stuff. Uh, the other thing we want to look at is sustainability because that's quite massive in the world of motorhomes and caravans at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and Bailey actually have a concept panel van here this year, mm, the Endeavour. So yeah, you know we love an EV here on Hudnut. Yes. So but of EV course, camping. How EV does that camping. Work? And yeah, yeah. Um, Freedom last month sold their first totally electric van. And of course they're looking to change over to electric in caravans yeah, and yeah, so yeah. on. Yeah. Um, I don't well, know to be fair, does. we kind of run Bob Electric, we don't use gas at all, so we're ahead of the game, ahead of the no, game, people. Cool, we're trendsetters. Yeah, yeah, it's so, not that it's uh, just broken. We're in Hall 12, because Hall 12 seems to be where all the awnings are, and it's also where all the folding campers and trailer tents are. So, a good place so, to start. Uh, starting with Pennine over here. So, we've got a little video here, you can see an erection in progress. Very impressive. Interesting to note that there is gas strut assist, I believe. Yeah. Which is a difference between Bob and... Uh, but it's can it be done in 60 up? seconds, like our Bob? Now, last year I thought it was 120 seconds, but we're about to see. Yeah. Heading up to the 40 second mark. Yeah, I like that he isn't rushing around, he's not making it look like a generation game. Which we have done on occasion. We definitely have done, yeah. <laughs> and that can go horribly wrong. But one of the big differences between Bob, Bob's a Conway Cruiser, of course comes with no bathroom. The Pathfinder does have a bathroom. Yeah. Um, has the oh, it's a different world entirely, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're over a minute, folks, and it's not fully erected. I think erect we're going yet. for 120. What okay. do you reckon? I mean, it's not far off 60 seconds, but, you know, I'm just saying I'm wearing my 60-second erection T-shirt. <laughs> Available from all good... Here we go. He's going in. He's going to do his little pop-ups on the side. There we go. No, look, we're 120, and that looks good. Yeah. So, I'm just looking at this. Is that the famous Isabella? It is. Oh, my God. Look at Ooh. you. Look at you. You're in love with me now. Yes, Ben and I partner with the Isabella Awnings. Ah. Now so, there is a uh, bit of a... That's meant to be better than canvas in a number of ways. Yes, yeah. Which so I'm sure you can tell me. Which can't remember for the Right now, life. right now. I can't remember for the life of me. No, no. Let's do a ping. ping, ping. The main one is it doesn't... You can pack it down wet, I think. Can't yeah, you? It doesn't go yeah, mouldy. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's just spin round because we've got one in unfurled state here. So this is a bit more... How you transport it down the road. Obviously, we have a cover over the top. And uh, even as a base unit, it's a fair bit bigger than a Bob, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're a lot heavier than a Bob as well. Which is understandable. You've got a bathroom, you've got so much more in there yeah, yeah. Uh, than you have in the Bob. Well, that turned out to be a very fascinating visit to the Pennine Stand. We were just exciting. having a chat with the owner of the company, Nick. There are seven people working for Pennine and they churn out about 100, 150 of these Yeah, and five of those year. are on the production line. Yeah, yeah. Putting so, out about uh, 100 of these. And he's really into his cars as well, so we were just chatting about yeah, his um, latest purchase, Vandom Pla 1300, and very nice. he watches us. Yep. And it's really fascinating, he's worked for Pennine since 1988, um, so was there for the inclusion of Conway in 2002, and he mentioned that um, obviously Bob's got the sliding beds. Yeah, um, yeah, they fold these days, very, very different. And these beds, as you can see with the gas truck, they fold. So, uh, yeah, oh, very, very there different. We go. <laughs> he's going to do a demo. <laughs> So these um, open up instead, you've got gas strut assisted and also there is a little warning sticker to say uh, you are folding this the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the gas struts don't make it automatic but they do help you lift the weight up. Mm -hmm. So um, there goes So they kept the sort end. of um, sliding technology to 2007. Yeah, and the, um, the bars down the back just like uh, our little cruiser. Although he didn't insert that, did he? That was just there. Yeah, it kind of spring, yeah. springs out. And there we go, up comes the roof. God, and look at the space, oh my gosh, compared to Bob, it's huge in there. So this is the Pathfinder, so this does have a bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, this does have a bathroom. The Pathfinder is their top model? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, and now up we are And this in the is middle. Nick of Pennine fame. Yeah, th this is the, <laughs> uh, the, the head honcho himself here um, selling campers. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Still got the sliding, sliding wardrobe, wardrobe, just like our Bob. Uh -huh. Yeah, amazing. Cushions are plenty. 
bolsters yeah. switch. Ooh. Oh. oh, instead of a flip over, because that, that's one of the difficulties. Oh, the flip over clever. element is quite tricky on board. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah. So I think oh. these are retailing, the 2024 models, we're retailing at 24995 I think that's inclusive of an awning, an Isabella awning. Yeah. So that's pretty damn good. Look at the bathroom. Yeah, wow. See, this I'm envious of, because I know later Conway Cruises came with a shelf like that and. That yeah, makes yeah. a difference. Yeah, I'll just pop around the that other side. That makes a difference. But you see, the, the, the shape is quite similar to Bob. Oh, very popular. This is good to Oh, see. yeah, you definitely need your bathroom door. <laughs> I always wondered about how the bathroom door goes on. Yeah, there we go. That's quite a tidy little bathroom, huh? Yeah, and a proper stove, notice. Yeah. And lots wow. of lighting throughout, which is where we struggle with Bob, isn't it? Yeah, even got your oven. So that is, um, yeah, very, very impressive. Unit. Oh, a world away from our little Bob in so many ways, but uh, the folding camper, the world of folding campers lives on. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you so much, Nick, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. Uh, and look at the crowd that's drawn as well. Yeah. People love a massive erection. Oh God. Sorry, I went there. You went there, you went there, ooh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so it's, it's the acrylic canvas. Is a quill. And mildew. That's the name of the material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a quill. Ah, uh, yes. Look, ten year. That looks familiar. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then beautiful. We're still in Pennine Land. We can't escape. <laughs> we like it. So this is the Fiesta, is it? Yeah, this is the Fiesta. So that, that's a bit more of a bob sort of a size. Presumably a bob sort of a weight as well. Different layout though. Different yeah, it still layout. all feels very still familiar. It still has though. a bathroom, which is impressive. I like this. So you can have ventilation a bit without, of ventilation, that's with, really without nice. the um, water getting in. That is really that's nice. That's an improvement. Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. So you're just checking out the Conway Countryman. So the yes. Conway name lives on under Pennine. Yes. So yep. there we go. Look, and we've got uh, a little house for Diego. Now, if you're into your static caravans, the most posh static caravans have this going on, which is the little push out, pop in. Yeah, Ch yeah. Uh, plug we, station. We, we are always desperately short that of power. That is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, this cupboard, Ian gave a grimace because it's I don't got like a little it. it's the poo cupboard. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the poo cupboard. But where's your privacy? I suppose you're on no, your own. No, no, right? I don't think you actually would use the toilet in here. I think you'd have a toilet, but it's somewhere to store it, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So lots of storage. Uh, you've yeah. got heating. Ooh. You've got a uh, 12 power. volt there. More power. Oh my goodness. You've got two double beds. You've you know got what it's reading? Oh, no, that's got a couple. Yeah, yeah obligatory. You've got to have USB. Yeah, so ports. that's three and two and one. Yeah. Little pockets. Top You've got little grill oh, and everything. There's a, there's a plug in the kitchen. That's helpful. Yeah. Lots of illumination, as you can see. Fridge. Uh, is I'll, that a kitchen? I'll tell you what I'm noticing. I've just stepped in. It's the difference in sound. We, we should use our liner more. It's insulated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And this shelf, this is invaluable. Bob was too early to have that shelf, yeah. and I oh, just think it's for great. Flicking and also to have light. this fold down so that you can look at that work surface. Yeah, yeah. This is lovely. This is the Conway Countryman. And, and it's just one lovely. of the things we love is the fact you can just have the bedrooms up permanently. You've yeah. still got living space. Yeah. That's what really makes yeah, the Yeah, the only one thing for, for me would be you'd need to move the table, but that's no big deal. No, that's a biggie. No. Right, we are finally going to drag ourselves <laughs> away from the um, Pennine stand and unsurprising and, uh, news we're really taken with the conway <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. so ad adventure camping is really really becoming a thing and opus uh, we saw them last year they have these inflatable mm -hmm. um folding campers they uh, take a few minutes to inflate we've we've seen it but it's not all the pulling and whatnot yeah, yeah you literally you on the folding start campers. the compressor and uh, yeah. away it goes and they do range from about twenty two thousand yeah. pounds to about thirty thousand pounds so it's an but, investment, but they do feel more rugged. Yeah, don't yeah. They? But uh, yeah, the rugged is very much the theme. You'll mm. see this theme when we go and look at campers as well. The chunky wheels, the black trim. It's almost a matter of rancho of the <laughs> camping world. <laughs> is that because you just drove one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just showing off. Yeah. But uh, yeah, people love this lifestyle look. Stuff. We're just heading into the land of freedom caravans, and my sister um, is actually looking at one at the moment. And oh. they have an electric van. I think it's that one just over there. So okay. shall we go, go and have, have a look? look? Let's go and have a look. All right, so heading aboard the Freedom Carpento 410. Oh, 
Ooh, so wish. A thousand kilograms, so easily towed by something like Bella. I'll say something and people are going to go, ah! this is 24.995. That is considered a low priced caravan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything under 25 is low price. So we've got lots of overhead storage here. There's a push button now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. It's going well. A uh, little bathroom. Little bathroom, you've got the shower. Well, toilet. Totally is it a shower? No, 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 look. Oh, it's, it's a wet the... room. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got the shower. Um, so you've got two. Pull down bed. Five yeah. berths. So you've got two, two, yeah, three, and one. That would be right. I guess so. I guess, yeah. yeah. So That's going to be a slightly storage. unusually shaped bed. Yes. L beautiful illumination. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving the funky Oven, windows as well. Two ring hob and sink. That creates some interesting, uh, look at the curtain rail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, interesting challenges, but a little sunroof as well. Look, again, really nicely illuminated, aren't they? Yeah, and yeah. this seems to be quite little nicely curtain built. curtain for separating off the back bit if you want to. Quite robust. Yeah, and I'm loving all the rounded edges. Mm. That's really nice. This is unusual. This is not what we usually see. I like no. this a lot. This is actually um, the winner for under a thousand kilograms, is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, just just about under a an innovation Bang winner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is a lovely little caravan. Yeah, funky. My sisters will be pleased. Lots of footage. <laughs> so there we go. A lightweight um, award, Carpento 410, and this one a bit lighter. So 750 kilograms is um, pretty light for a full size caravan. Obviously not full size, but I'm over here, yeah. Ian. You're over there. <laughs> We're looking at another one. This is the uh, Microlite Sport. So we've just been having a, a chat here at um, Freedom Campers. Uh, Miss I'm in mean already. <laughs> the slightly smaller Carpento 360, mm -hmm. which uh, is just a free berth rather than the five yes, we looked yes, at earlier. Yes, this is the dream. This is the dream. Look, seating area. Oh yeah, a little nook at the back. Bed. Bed. So you could leave yes. that permanent bed and just have your brilliant. chill out zone here. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we, just, we were just talking to um, the uh, Stacy, I think it was at Freedom Caravans. Uh, Again, another small family story. company. Yeah. Absolutely. Some of the vans, this one, no, the one next door comes from Poland. Yeah, yeah this is Turkish. And there's a story behind that as well, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, well excited. Yeah, very excited. So the model behind me, the Jetstream, has an interesting story because the person who was running Freedom Caravans at the time, is still um, in the family, um, was importing FSO cars from Poland. And on one of his trips to oh. Poland, he discovered these jet stream caravans and uh, has since imported them and they're, they're converted to UK specs so the door is on the correct side Are you obviously it in? wouldn't be <laughs> I'm coming in yeah 750 kilograms so it's very very lightweight okay so but, uh, oh lovely sto wardrobe storage space oh, uh, there big storage we've got big a storage. skylight as well overhead storage nice illumination uh, you've got storage Ooh. down here storage Ooh, power bank power. we are well taken with the power banks fridge stove two hob two ring hob and the bathroom is lovely yeah full oven nice yeah that's um uh, much better than i expected look at that a proper lovely little mixer shower and a proper little shower tray because sometimes you find with wet rooms doesn't yeah, quite yeah, work yeah. so yeah very very nice very nice very smart and being um, 750 kilogram it means it can be towed by a great many cars. Giselle might reluctantly, but she would actually tow yep, that. Yeah, Stacey said a 1.2 Skoda Fabia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is that what uh, Mo's got? It is. Ooh, there you go, Mo. There you go, Mo. Yeah, we've, we've <laughs> found what you need to do. So, yeah, the jet streams uh, come from Poland. Mm -hmm. The um, Carpentos are built in Turkey, but always configured for the UK market with the doors on the mm -hmm. right side. Did we mention cetera. about the awards and innovation? We probably didn't, so, okay, so many um, winnings. We've got many, winning over there. Yeah, they have done fantastically well. In this category, they got first, second and third, yeah. which is the under 700, 750 or under, with yeah. washroom category. Wow. They won first, second and third, and also have won innovation awards for 2023 and 2024 because they custom built an electric caravan for a gentleman who wanted to go off grid with yeah, his yeah. Tesla as well. Um, Which is very impressive because uh, obviously I think more and more people will be looking to do mm -hmm. that without gas. People want to get away from gas, for, whether it's for fossil fuel reasons or um, cost reasons. Well, they're moving away from boilers, uh, gas boilers, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. There, is, there is a stop point for them, isn't there? I think that's got a bit vague. Uh, yeah, we're, defi we're definitely committed to net zero, anyway. sort of. 
So this is a, a technology that they're hoping to use in the actual range yeah, yeah. eventually. But it's a long road, but I have every faith yeah, they'll yeah. get there. Brilliant little company. Right, let's carry on. There's yeah. still so much more to see. So here I find myself in the, I'm not sure if the pronunciation is Trigano or Trigano, um, because they are a French company, Campelair S. Trigano, Trigano, are a company that's been going since 1935. They were created with the creation of paid time off in France. So you got paid time off, here's a way of using it. As you can see, we've got a trailer tent here with an extensive awning. Massive. This is quite impressive. Um, Trigano is a big company. They make trailer tents, they make awnings, they also make accessories as well. Um, but yes, they've been established in 1935, been going ever since. I think they've got four different sites where they build um, and they encompass other brands as well. Lovely, spacious beds. Yeah. yeah. So oh, this nice. is what we think is one of the differences between trailer tent and folding camper. Because we were discussing this, because this is how exciting our lives are. Yeah. Um, this is one of the differences between trailer tent and folding camper. As you can see, trailer tent, in the trailer just includes your beds. Yeah. Your kitchen is separate. So. And also, they tend to come down to the ground. To the ground and, and to need be to be pegged. Pegged down. Yeah, yeah. the word tent. Yeah. But lovely. Lovely, That's a lot lovely. of space for the money. That's a huge lot of space. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, mark the difference between the price of these versus them. Um, yeah, yeah, we're talking to, you know, five or six grand. <laughs> wow. Yes. That French craftsmanship, we know all about that. And we I, are in a French car today. We are indeed, and she was good as gold. Good so, as gold. So, don't say a word. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to go and have a look at some other trailer tents. There aren't many folding campers on the market, but trailer no. tents. There are quite a These few, are the as camp you can see. Master. Yeah, we've got the Camp Master, trailer tents without kitchen. Another award winner. An trailer and tents another design. Kitchen. Look, that's that's not got the sort of tilt over. No. Hmm, let's go and have a look. Yeah, if that folds down to that, that's amazing. So that is small enough. You're not going to have to faff about with towing mirrors. And uh, I don't know what the weight is. I'm sure we can find out. But uh, uh, what's it I doubt it's going to be too ah, much. There's, some, there's a spec so, there. Just over £5,000 and it all folds out into that space. Wow. There we go. Nice cozy bed. That's a, a really good size. Ah, look at the mirror slot over there. Oh, yeah. We've got extra room here. Oh yeah, so it goes all the way around the back. So you've got almost a wrap around awning. So plenty of storage space, a uh, little uh, table. And of course, induction hobs becoming more popular as a way of um, cooking and uh, you know we ourselves do like to use the electricity <laughs> and another one <laughs> uh, and another one so the plated weight on these seems to be about 400 kilograms oh ah, now interesting i'm not, not sure on the difference between the two models but that is that storage at the back yeah storage you have to kind of go through to get that can you imagine you? if you need a wee <laughs> yeah yeah if Hop you across the bed decided to put your loo there inflatable yeah. awning Oh, maybe. I don't know. But obviously, because we are in the world of folding campers, and I know people are going to go, "What's the difference?" There is a difference. This is this is the new new to us, really, isn't it? Trailer yeah, tents. Yeah, yeah. So another award winner: trailer tents with kitchen. And uh, there it is. There is your kitchen. Well, wow. this is lovely. Yeah. Separate that bedrooms. That no, one turns into a sofa as well. I imagine they both do. This is a little bit more towards um, folding camper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice, serious power banks. Mm. Oh, so this one's a bit more. We're in about 11 grand's worth here, but um, special offer but price. But you've got accommodation for, yeah, yeah. what, two, That's why these people five? come to the show, is they will do you special offers on all these. Yeah, there's a special what order offer this? on this power bank. Do you squeeze oh. that to make the water go out? Or is it just extending? I don't that would know. be brilliant for Bob. Yeah. I don't know, it's just electric by the look of it. But ah. does... Oh. Simple. That's another reason we're oh, here, Oh, from folks. Isabella. Simple oh. ideas. And uh, we're just in time to see one being folded away. Oh, excellent. Of course, it's always an important part of this, is how much faff is it? <laughs> Camplet North. 
so the uh, kitchen forms part of the rear structure. That's uh, quite interesting. Mm. Intriguing. Isabella, of course, of the Isacryl material. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting one. There we go. Ooh, that <laughs> just looks like a little box trailer. It does. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's packed. It is, it is packed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Done. Just swing the background and that's, that's job, job. That's good. Yeah. Oh, so this is also a winner in the lightweight. Uh, 750 kilograms and under with washroom. Mm. But uh, here's the difference. We've been looking at trailer tents of six, 7,000 pounds maybe. Now we're talking, uh, I just saw the price, 20 and a half on the road. Yeah. So uh, you want the convenience of a fixed roof over your head, you do have to pay for it. But this one, this is only 11 or 12. And uh, yeah, very much looks like a box trailer, really. But uh, yeah, interesting. Keep it simple, keep the price low. That is uh, very cheap for a, a smaller camera. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> Are you intrigued simple. by that I, I am intrigued by that one. That's an interesting take on it. So now on the Rackley stand, a Sequoia. New model for 2024. And somebody just got nostalgic. He's like, it looks like Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so this is about 10 and a half grand's worth the camper and the, the mightily impressive awning that we are in at the moment. Just unzipping the skirt. <laughs> yeah, it is It is a bit Bobesque in the twin folding out. Lovely bed size, look yeah. at that. Oh, wow. And Very of course, generous. this is seating as well as as well as bed. Yeah, that's quite nice to have this little seating that makes sense. bit on the and could, edge. If the weather's not great, you could, well, you've got an awning, but you could always pop a little table in there. Yeah, yeah, like that very much. So lots of storage down here as well. All keeping it very nice mm -hmm. and simple. So here we are with a product that I have seen on uh, Twitter. And it's the, the constant problem when you have a, an older folding camper, caravan, motorhome, etc., is the awning or lack of. Um, this looks very retro, but actually is a new product and apparently can be erected in 10 minutes by one person. Now my question was whether you can put it on a folding camper and apparently that is height reliant. As you can see, you can put it on a variety of different vehicles. <laughs> Why you can put it, it on Johnny You can Vegas? put it on a Johnny Vegas. Why do you put it on him? Is there anything else we want to know about the Glorning? Um, how much they are? Oh, it's just in there. And also, they do stoves, wood-burning stoves as well. I mean, how glorious is this? What oh, wow, well, so show up. price, 1,200 quid. Mm. That's a four-meter glowing and a standard connecting canopy. That's that there? Uh, includes your stove bundle. Really? Yeah. For Let's that? go and have a look at this stove. That is quite a funky thing. You just can't beat a little wood burner, can you? So, that is glowing. Oh, Could it be the answer it. to our prayers? <laughs> okay, into the hobby Beachy 420. Oh, my goodness, it's like a walking wardrobe. Oh my gosh. That's oh. enormous. Oh. Nice like little this. kitchen area. Oh. Again, the little um, induction oh, yeah. hob. Oh, wow. Ooh. Is that oh. your bin? No, it's your the... fridge. Wow. Oh, I love this. This yeah. is beautiful. Soft clothes as well. This, but it forms three beds, effectively, so two adults and one child lying next to you. So um, not for the larger family, it's probably not for the likes of us. So different and so yeah. chic. Really stylish. And just the simple curtains, it's just rolled up. And, and how lovely is it to have the back door open? Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. That's glorious. And it's, it looks like a two parts, so you can just pop up the um, top mm. hatch. And we just bumped into a hubnutter who said, made a very good point, the tables fold down, but with a bike in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah easily done. So these um, come in um, around 950 kilos as a maximum weight. So again, designed for the uh, smaller car to tow. Very, very nice indeed. I think it was about a shade under 20,000 pounds. Okay, that's pretty good for a lightweight camper. Glorious, yeah. I love that. Yeah, the design. The storage lovely. look underneath. Yeah, 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 amazing. We've got another 
smaller camper here, the Trigano Mini 300. Again, 750 kilos. Oh, hello. And, uh, this feels very nice That's in here. It's a bigger fridge than the GoPro. That's Go a huge fridge. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, a bigger thing. standing area as well. Not that you need it, dear, but... No, um, I don't need it. I very much do. Feels so. a bigger space. The only thing that is different, and I am a person of not the biggest stature, is this. Yeah, you got, you got to take a bit of a duck to get out the door. Yes. But, but I really uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, and really nice. Four thousand pounds. Yeah, it's cheaper. about sixteen grand. Mm. So um, there we go. Let's pop back outside again. That is the um, Trigano Mini um, three hundred, and there's a two fifty as well. I wonder if that's even a little lighter. Maybe. Again, you got restricted height on the door opening. In fact, they've got a little fleet of tiny little campers. So here is an interesting one. We're in Hall Six. Uh, so well away from all the other folding campers and um, trailer tents but this is Venta Trailers UK uh, a full range of camping trailers uh, from South Africa but assembled in Bristol here in the UK and uh, you can see very very sort of GP Land Rover-esque in terms of the styling uh, looks very very robust and then you've got, uh, you've got some bunk beds down here and a, a nice double bed up here above the trailer. So it all attaches to the top of the uh, trailer. So that's quite funky, I think. A slightly different way of doing things if trailer tenting is your thing. So we're gonna end this sector, this sector looking at the more lightweight and the more affordable side of camping. I mean, obviously these are still brand new, so they're not like 500 uh, quid But cheap. these are super swish and stylish because there seems swish. to be lots of customization you can do on the cupboard color, on the um, fabric color, the upholstery colors yeah, yeah. inside. So again, um, again, we're sticking to the um, 750 kilo mm -hmm. maximum. So these are very, very lightweight, which obviously means they're not as fully featured as a full-size caravan. Yeah, so these but, are the pop tops with no yeah. washroom. I, I would say the, these, these are kind of a step up from your teardrop camper in that everything is inside a teardrop. You have to get out to do anything. But it's a considerable step up. A considerable, considerable, considerable step up. Considerable yeah. step up. I, I like this one, which is the same color almost as my Inver car. Yeah, and the interior, the upholstery is light yeah. pink. Should we see if we can get in? Let's go and see if we can get in. Let's see if we can get in. All right, moving indoors. Uh, if you're taller than Miss Hubnut, there is a pop top section here. So I can stand full height, which is not to be knocked. That makes life so much easier. Ladies and gentlemen, wine shelf. Oh, does it <laughs> fold up? Yep, fold up wine oh. shelf. And there's a socket just there. Yep, uh, fully featured kitchen. Here. Bed uh, is very little clever. Little fridge, I think. Uh, more cupboard space, Lo lovely um, decor in here. Yeah, and I think they're cu very much customizable, these. Also, the bed is very simple, the bed mechanism. You pull the little handle there, it's a slatted bed, pulls out to here. Lovely, that's very yeah, simple. Yeah, that'll be nice and comfortable as well. Yeah. Very warm, feels very insulated. Yeah, yeah, feels very snug in here, very snug Lots indeed. Lots of storage, the big cupboard just there. A lady who owns one just spoke to, we were just speaking to her, and she said um, that that's your loo, but throw, you know, if you're like us and you don't go to campsites yeah, yeah. without toilets, take it out and use it for storage. Lovely storage. Yeah, quite yeah, a bit. This is a considerable jump from yeah. the teardrop, really. I would say because of the lightweight, you've got to be a bit careful with your uh, payload. So what you chuck in it on top of the weight of it. So this demonstrator is 670 kilos. It means it's only got an 80 kilo payload. So you've got to be a bit careful if you're doing things like fitting an awning and uh, all your one. luggage. But they do pink as well. Or green one. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> Very interesting. So there we go. That, that's going to wrap up this report. <laughs> we, we have only looked at the lightweight and the, the more affordable side of camping. This show is enormous. It goes on that way for many, many halls. Yeah. And of course, you've got all the accessories and everything. There is everything as you could well. possibly everything want. Everything you could possibly need. want. And in the world of camping those moments where you go and buy something and you're like i really need this and then you go home you're like yeah yeah <laughs> so um yeah if you're coming to this show then um, by all means do but make a, a yeah. good amount of time for it we're going to be lucky to get around if all you like of it us today and you're into the lightweight and um folding camper trailer tents hall 12 hall 12 is, the one. is where you need it's to be one. also but awnings as well we are going to do a second video looking at um some of some of the interesting tech here so it's straying well away from the affordable and the lightweight but uh we think it's interesting nonetheless, so we're going to do a yeah. second video from here today, so we, look out for that soon. We mentioned at the beginning of this video the Bailey Endeavour. 
we need to go and re have a, really have a good look at that. That yeah, yeah. is something quite so, exciting uh, and that is something we're going to do in a future video. And so. we'll probably mooch along and find other stuff. I imagine so. Yeah. So thank you very much. See you in a future video. Bye. Bye. Well, we found about as far away as it's possible to get from Bob, our 500 pound camper. Um, this massive Mercedes-Benz Actros-based camper uh, by Morello is um, 569,000 pounds.